Hey everyone, welcome to this daily Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for Tuesday, June 25th, 2019. All right, so today not a whole lot going on astrologically. Uh, we do get a bit of a break from more of the stronger astrological events that we had last weekend and the later part of last week. But today the moon will be in Pisces, as was the case yesterday. So the theme likely still around connecting to what you might call the ethers of life, that more receptive approach, you know, themes around gaining greater receptivity, greater intuition, trust and acceptance, uh, really to find that inner peace and spiritual peace that Pisces helps us develop. So with these themes, we are in the third quarter phase of the lunar cycle, which means that roughly about a week ago, we had that full moon. That would have been in time of shifts and changes, maybe some awareness. And so now it's an excellent part of the week to integrate some of that energy. If there's anything that you can set intentions with or integrate or move forward in some way that challenges yourself, could be a really good way of working with this third quarter moon. All right, so other than this, there's some um, minor things going on. So let's take a look at all of this here in more detail when I return. All right, so here is the sky for this Tuesday. And again, we are using the actual visible sky, which is different from mainstream astrology, which um, in the West is based around the seasons, and even in Vedic astrology, uh, use an even 30 degrees. Uh, but in the actual sky, some constellations are larger and smaller than each other. As you can see, Pisces is a very large constellation in the sky. So this does change the signs from mainstream astrology. And if you are new, definitely check out the link down below for more information on true sidereal astrology. All right, so let's take a look here at the moon's placement. We have the moon well set in Pisces here today. Pisces, the fishes, is all about connecting to that center point. The constellation is a fish swimming in this direction, another in the opposite direction, and then they're tied together by strings to a center point. Here is that center point right here. So this is uh, symbolic of the fact that we are all sort of flowing through life as fish, so to speak. And Pisces helps us trust things like our intuition. Where's the current of life going and how can we put energy into that current? And it's the fact that we're all connected as well, right? That we're all connected to an essence, whether you call it source, God, the universe, even just presence or consciousness itself. And so connecting to this essence, to this focal point that we are all connected to is essentially what Pisces is about. So really good time for the next couple days here to further develop this side of ourself, the side of ourself that is connected, is trusting our intuition, is present and surrendering everything that's not in the present moment and developing things like creativity, spirituality, um, diving into our own unconscious mind. Uh, things like this is really good with the moon here. So uh, no major aspects going exact here today. Um, we do have this entering of the third quarter phase of the lunar cycle, which um, suggests that from that full moon a week ago, it is an excellent part of the week to start to challenge ourselves. And the context of that is the fact that the sun is in Gemini, which is a very different constellation than Pisces. So there's a bit of an integration needed between these two very different energies. So while the theme is around that receptive stuff, Gemini is about the practical stuff. And so it is still an excellent time, as it's been more recently, of focusing on the practical matters of life, focusing on things like learning, practical learning particularly, especially left side of the brain type of stuff, communication, exchanging with others, business trade, short distance travel, things in our immediate environment, connecting with our peers, neighbors, or siblings, right? This kind of stuff that is in our more immediate environment that deals a lot with our mind and how we're thinking and communicating, really good to develop. We'll notice we're gaining energy through maybe learning or reading or writing right now, or through focusing on communication, stuff like this. This is the vitality, energy, and life force with the sun. So then the question then becomes, how can we integrate this very practical side of ourself that's being illuminated with that sun energy while at the same time be receptive 
while at the same time going to the unconscious mind, right? More into the ethers of life, more into the spiritual dimensions. And somewhere in there is that integrating point because of course we do need both in life, right? And so anything, anything you can do to set intentions for both of these things, maybe spiritual writing, automatic writing, creative writing, creativity that involves words or communication, spirituality that involves very practical things, these are just a few examples of um, how we are or can be integrating these two very different constellations in this third quarter phase of the lunar cycle. All right, but um, also with the third quarter phase, it does suggest that exactly a week ago, we did have that full moon. And so if any shifts have happened in your life from over the past week or some things you've become aware of, excellent part of the week now to implement, to integrate, to set some intentions with, and to follow through with in some sense to essentially challenge ourselves with this sun square moon type of energy all right so that's the most important thing going on here today but the moon will be passing over healing chiron and so there could be a new chapter in terms of healing again maybe particularly the side of ourself that is wanting to surrender wanting to have more peace in life and so again any of this stuff that does involve piscean energy uh, can be very healing and very therapeutic today. In fact, there could be just a new chapter of feeling a bit refreshed emotionally or a bit healed and rejuvenated from this conjunction. All right, everyone, so that's the day in a nutshell. That's the most important stuff going on. The third quarter moon, great for integration and implementation and challenging ourselves, particularly in the context of bringing in some of that Geminian energy of curiosity, inquisitiveness, flexibility, learning, practical stuff integrated with the receptive. Surrender, trust, acceptance, and connecting to that essence of life. All right. So everyone have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you all tomorrow for the next daily forecast. Take care.